And so, I retired my apron, leaving the door open for someone else to finally win the golden coffee pot. And because of the way the wiring interfered with the plane's radios, Federated Airlines was forced to abandon the Flight Pal project. Three weeks after that fateful flight, I landed April, my beautiful bride and mother of my wonderful and no longer bastard son, Donnie. And the feeling of crushing empty loneliness that dogged me through the years, well, turned out to be a gluten allergy. Six months later, I found myself at a bookstore in downtown LA reading this last chapter of my book. And then something unbelievable happened. I looked up and saw... Dad? Dad! It's me! Larry. 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 Shh. You look wonderful, son. You too, Dad. You must have come to ask my forgiveness for walking out all those years ago. And to beg me to allow you back into my life. That's exactly right, Larry. That's why I'm here. Well, there was a time. There was a time I would have told you to stick several unwieldy objects in your ass. A porcupine, a six iron, a French horn, ceramic pineapple. But I've learned a little something about fatherhood. So, whew. I forgive you, Dad. Oh, welcome back into my life. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, that is. It's such a, a huge relief. I know. <laughs> For me too. For yeah. Me too. Yeah. Uh, you got to give me a second. I, I got to move my car. I'm double parked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. You got it, Dad. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to resume my relationship with that guy. <laughs>